Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is kind of talk to you about what are some things you're going to need to know to be able to solve and graph compound inequalities. Well, kind of going to the basics, um, if we're going to be doing compound inequalities, we obviously need to know how to solve and graph uh, regular inequalities. So the first thing is solving inequalities, one step, two step, multi-step, and uh, so forth, as well as graphing the inequality. Once you have a solution, how do you know how to graph the inequality? Um, because when we're doing compound inequalities, basically what we're doing is we're bringing you know, two, sep two inequalities together and we're graphing them on the same x-axis. So there are number lines. So therefore, we need to make sure we know how to, one, you know, solve as well as graph an inequality. And then the basics, what we'll get into a little bit more in this course, um, is identifying compound inequalities and what exactly do they mean. And really what we need to understand is the statements of and and or. And this will get, I'll get a little bit more in depth once we start talking about the actual compound inequalities qualities. But um, the way that I like to you know, think about it is and means both, right? You need to have this and something else. So for instance, I say you know, during our open house uh, for, uh, for my math class, if you and your dad, or uh, I don't want to get into this, let's just say you and your parent um, come into my open house, I will give you extra credit. So that means if you just show up, you don't get extra credit. If your parent just shows up, you don't get extra credit. But if you and your parent, both of you need to be there to gain extra credit. Um, however, if I say the or statement, which means inclusive, which means one or the other or both. So if I say, if you or your parent come to our open house, I will give you extra credit. So therefore, you'll get extra credit if you come. You'll get extra credit if your parent comes. And you'll also get extra credit if you and your parent both come. So the diff you need to understand the difference because that's going to help us out when we're understanding uh, not only solving but also graphing our inequalities and, I and understanding the solution set that we're going to have. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Those are just the basics of what you're going to need to know to be able to solve compound inequalities. Thanks.